And I wanted to share this with you all. This is my cross that I am working on. It's pretty much finished at the top. And down here, let me take this, my bracelets out. There's a few pieces that I do need to finish, finish that I haven't yet. So I will get to them. But um, and what I I do is I just take the piece and I just kind of just decide. Like for this, I did the black and the red. I did it in an outline of a beaded silver tone black and maybe a few pearls that I had necklace. And um, these are all inexpensive jewelry. These are all just fashion jewelry. So these are not my grandmother's heirloom jewelry that I am making art with. And even if it was, I think it still would be okay if it was something that I wouldn't wear. Um, But I wouldn't, I probably would not do that. So I just I always have had a love for jewelry. And these are just some pieces. There's going to always be a butterfly image in my art. Butterflies just represent me. I just love butterflies. Um, so there is going to always be an image of a butterfly in a piece that I do. And that's my butterfly here. And I use many pieces from beads to brooches, um, just all kind of pieces. Um, Here's a, a pennant that I had used. Um, these were like some little diamonds that I used. And um, just all kind of pieces I used. Here's another brooch that I took apart. Um, a necklace. Just jewelry that I probably wouldn't wear, but it's no way that I could not use them in art. Why let art go, go to waste? I'm, I guess I am I'm even also thinking of doing some sort of girls get together and let us do an art piece. Cause I have so many images that I use. Um, for, for instance, like this was already a cross, but I wanted to just kinda add the pieces and let it kinda just speak volume to me and that's what i did so it's not quite finished as you can tell them i am almost done i have this these three to add to it not that many and a few more of course so i had an earring that i never found the back to it i do buy craft lots so that's another thing that i buy is when i'm online shopping is craft lots. I will eventually sell them. I will do a preview one day of the items uh, that I have completed so you all can get to see that. But this is currently what I'm working on and that is almost completed and I just wanted to show my crawls that I'm excited about finishing. So yeah, these all together. I, I will feel in, for me, I don't like a lot of the spaces. I do like to kind of go in and fill them in a little bit more. So I will go back. I will go through my jewelry and fill in. As a matter of fact, I might just use these pieces to fill in the spaces in here. <clears throat> this is what you call like a 3D effect. That's just what I like to do. Um, that's just what I like to do. I use the hot glue to kind of glue the edges of it, but I normally just use the E6000. For me, that way, if I kind of need to move it, turn it, it gives me time to kind of adjust the piece the way I want to. So, Here's one of my items 
that I'm currently trying to finish. And it would take me normally a few hours, anywhere from a, a piece this big. I This is actually the third day because I don't be on it that long. And then I have to kind of see where I want to place them. So like I outlined the cross, that was one day. And that took about maybe two to three hours. You can't rush it. Um, and then I came back and kind of just went through my craft lot and just picked out the pieces I wanted to use. Once I saw this big, um, necklace piece. I knew this was going to be a centerpiece. So, there we go. I should have it done by Saturday. Um, don't want to really give you a date, but I'm thinking by Saturday and let you all see the finished product for the cross.